Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another IKEA video for you. If you guys are new here, my name is Madeline and I am a huge IKEA lover. We have a lot of products from IKEA. We've had a lot of furniture in our old apartment and even here in this flat we've bought quite a few bits. So I have done videos like this in the past, like best IKEA buys. I've done just random decorative pieces and accessories. Um, I've done furniture. I've also done bits that are good for rental flats, like the one that we uh, live in right now. And today I'm gonna share with you uh, best IKEA products for kids. They have loads in there and they are honestly such good qualities. So today I'm just gonna share with you our favorite ones, the ones that we use the most and that we love the most. First of all, the high chair that they have in Ikea, the really basic white one, I think it's called the antelope one. It's amazing, it's super inexpensive, which is perfect because you're not gonna use it for the rest of your life. You're probably only gonna use it, I would say, for about a year or two, depending on the kid. Um, we used it for my son until he was about 18 months old and then he pretty much refused to sit in it because he wanted to sit like a big boy at the table with us. So we switched to something else which I'm gonna share soon because it's also from Ikea but we did love that high chair a lot. It was really easy to clean. You can just take the tray off and clean it up really nicely in the sink um, if you need to give it a good thorough one and it's yeah it's just really amazing. It also packs up quite nicely. You can take off the legs of the high chair and you can pack it up with you if you need to travel with it which we have done a few times so yeah it's just a really good one and it's really inexpensive and i don't think it's worth spending a lot of money on a high chair because um, you're not going to use it for that long really. Next up, cribs. IKEA cribs are pretty amazing in my opinion and also they do come with a pretty low price point. Um, I have seen a lot of other cribs that are so so much more expensive and I feel like they're pretty much the same and I actually really like the minimalist look of them. I really like the simple white ones. The ones that we had in the beginning was the Gulliver one. It's probably the most basic one you could get. It's just pretty much the four sides and the mattress, that's it. And the nice thing about these cribs is that they come with two levels, so you can put the baby up higher when it's um, tiny and then you can move the mattress lower when they're a little bit bigger, just so that they don't, you know, crawl out of the bed. And they also transform into toddler beds, which I think is really amazing. Um, so the reason why we switched from the Gulliver crib is because we moved country, so we couldn't take that one with us. And then when we moved here, we decided to get um, a very similar one but just slightly larger because they do offer that in Ikea so we just went with that it's called the let me check it's called the Stuva one um, so it's just a little bit longer a little bit wider which I thought would be good for my toddler because he's quite tall and you know he's only gonna get bigger so I thought that crib would fit him for longer than the first one. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but it does come with drawers um, as well, like at the bottom, which I think is nice to have a little bit of extra storage. We didn't really need the extra storage when um, he was first born, but now that we live in this small rental flat, we kind of had to maximize our storage space. Um, so yeah, it kind of depends on your needs as well, but I do recommend both of them. They're really, really amazing. Next up, the bib that they have in there, the really nice multicolored polka dot one, is amazing. We used it in the beginning a lot because, um, as you probably know, or you might have noticed if you've seen other kids when they start winning, they get so dirty because they're just so messy at meal times in the beginning when they're just learning to feed themselves. So that thing covered him up completely. It was really amazing. You can put it in the washing machine and it washes up really nicely. It doesn't have any stains on it. Um, and trust me, it has seen a lot. <laughs> like it has seen spag balls, it has seen paint, berries, just a whole bunch of things. So I would highly recommend that one and I think it's really good for arts and crafts as well. One toy that my toddler has been obsessed with lately is the train tracks from Ikea. Um, they have a whole bunch of them. I think they have three, I think we, we have three sets but I'm not sure if they have more or not. Um, those are the main ones that I have seen. So they have a really big one with I think 45 pieces and then they have a smaller one with 20 pieces and then um, I think they just have trains individually. So. They are just really amazing because they all go together so you can just kind of connect them and make a huge train track which my toddler loves and in the beginning he really wanted me to build the tracks for him but now he's actually uh, trying himself to build it which I think is really nice and I think it's really good for hand-eye coordination and just fine motor skills and yeah it's just a really amazing one and he has so much fun pushing the trains along the tracks I think he could do that for hours we have I think three trains because all of the tracks come with their own train 
Um, so that's really nice because I have to play with one and then he has to play with one. So yeah, I think it's a really great toy for toddlers. Another great toy that my toddler is obsessed with, which um, he actually recently got for his birthday. You might have seen this if you're not new around here. Um, and that is that play kitchen in the back. It is so lovely. I myself love it so much because I think it's really fun to play with him, just kind of pretend cook. And he has a whole bunch of uh, pots and pans in there and just kind of utensils. We also got those from Ikea. So they have a lot of different play foods. Um, we also have some um, wooden ones. And yeah, it's just really nice to play with him there. And he really loves pretending to make me food. He will make me taste it. <laughs> and um, the uh, stove top comes with like a light up there. So you can, so it kind of looks like the um, stove top is on. And yeah, he just has a lot of fun playing in there. And I think it's really good for boys and girls as well because um, they all love playing with it. I feel like at this age, they don't really care if it's a boy toy or a girl toy. Like um, you guys know what I mean. They just pretty much have fun playing with with anything really. Since I mentioned my toddler ref started refusing to um, sit in the high chair, we decided to get something else for him. Um, and we decided to get the little table and chairs that they have in Ikea as well. I think it's the cheapest set that they have. I might be wrong, but I think it is because it's about 20 pounds and it comes with the uh, table and two chairs and they are actually quite sturdy both myself and my husband have been asked to sit on those and they do like they just hold up really well. They don't feel flimsy at all. And I really love the fact that the table is so easy to clean. Um, he has painted on that. He has colored with crayons on it. Um, I think he even used markers on it a few times. So <laughs> that table has seen a lot and we haven't had it for that long. I think only about a few months and um, it's lasted really well. And if you look at it, it's pristine white like I, you can clean it up really well something that we bought recently and i think it's from a new collection that they brought in ikea and that is the um divided plates that they have for kids so we bought a set of two plates with little dividers on them and then we also bought a set of two uh, bowls just like simple bowls for cereals or snacks or whatever um, and those are really nice. I think they're quite good quality. They are dishwasher safe, which is really nice. And I think it's really nice to have divided plates because it kind of makes you, um, like encourages you to put more of a variety on there and not just stick to one food. Really love those and they're really inexpensive. I think the soft toys that they have in Ikea are the cutest that I have seen. Um, and they're just kind of like the classic ones, if you know what I mean. My toddler has the teddy bear from there. I think that was the first one that we bought and he loves it so much. Um, sometimes he just goes around the room and he says Teddy where are you which I think is adorable and then we also have the panda from there just like a smaller one and then we have the huge elephant soft toy which I think is really nice to give a gift maybe to someone who's just having their baby because the, that way you can kind of take pictures with the elephant as the baby grows. I kind of wish I did that with Victor, but you know, it's fine. Maybe with the next baby, <laughs> but um, he loves that elephant. He loves cuddling it and he wrestles with it and it's just a really fun toy to have. Something that I also recently got is the rug uh, for kids, which has uh, car roads on it. Such a cute one. It's actually quite nice quality. Like it feels really nice. I have seen other uh, kids rugs which feel like, I don't know, like they're just too thin. Um, this one doesn't feel like it and it doesn't take up too much space, which is really nice because I usually just kind of roll it up and store it away in his room. Um, and then when he wants to play with it, we just bring it out. Um, and he really loves it. He loves pushing his cars on the little roads and it's got even train tracks and parking spaces. And yes, yeah, I just think it's a really cute one to have. And then one thing that's really handy when you have a toddler is a step stool. I think they have multiple ones in Ikea, but we just have the white one with green dots on it. And those dots on at the top, are um, grippy ones so that they don't slip on it which I think is really nice it's really handy we use it at the sink in our bathroom and he just kind of you know climbs up on it and he can wash his hands he can wash his teeth he also loves playing in the sink so that's really handy for that as well and I think it's going to be really good for when we start potty training so that he can climb on it and sit on the big toilet um, so yeah, we haven't used it for that yet, but I'm sure it will come in very handy at that time. So those are kind of the products that I think are really good for kids, um, for babies and for toddlers as well. Let me know what products you guys have discovered from Ikea for kids because I would love to hear more recommendations. I've always really loved Ikea products. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the other ones that I did if you are interested to see more Ikea bits. And yeah, give this a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!